Attention all facility personnel. Protocol Salatum has been activated. Please prepare for emergency evacuation at this time. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Scanning. Control. Manipulate scientific data. Take over. Blast control. World government. Shut down infrastructure. Ship everything to China. Look at this person. Attention all bottom side QSERF personnel. We have received signal to begin the protocol Salatum detonation sequence. Warheads will be primed in T minus 40 seconds. All key serve personnel. The warhead is ready for detonation. All bottom side facility personnel, please evacuate to the Tartarus zone immediately. I repeat, please evacuate to the Tartarus zone immediately.
personnel. Bottom side warhead control room has authorized the detonation of the facility. The warhead detonation sequence has been engaged.
Begin log. Today's date is August 20th, 1985. Time is 7.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Log ID is Delta Echo 553. Alright, let's begin. Around midnight on August 18th, 1985, the facility suffered a break in our situation where an undetermined amount of trained combatants were able to ferment themselves within the off limits areas of the facility. Is this correct? Yes. From there, said combatants were able to bypass and replace security systems and trigger a protocol cell and contingency plan via a self manufactured site access card. They were additionally able to find a spare warhead arm and key to access step four in a protocol cell and sequence, that being the detonation panel. Is this correct? Yes. According to your preliminary report, all non combatant personnel were able to evacuate. Of the 10 security operatives on site, only seven are accounted for. Is this correct? Yes. Three of our operatives were killed in action. Advanced Guardsman Maribel Blanchett was unable to evacuate in time as she was fending off fleeing hostile combatants in bottom site Tartarus. Guardsman Clark Hill was. <coughs> operating the bottom side warhead control room at the time of the break and enter. Elite Guardsman Adam Hall was shot during the final stages of the evacuation. Well, ain't that fantastic? Sir, if I may, I want to make note of something my fellow operatives and I gathered from eyewitness testimonies from employees. They say that these combatants ignored them and did not express any immediate danger to them. Campbell's right. These combatants would even go out of their own way to prevent collateral damage of any of the employees. They only seemed to attack us if they had a direct line of sight with us with no nearby civilians. They were only going for us. I see. Were any of our operatives able to apprehend the combatants? Yes. At one point, we had apprehended two combatants at separate points after they had ran out of ammunition. Upon further inspection, we were able to identify some sort of origin group. Something about a client or oil group? Unfortunately, we weren't able to take any of the combatants alive with us. We had to leave as soon as possible due to the rushing onslaught of other active combatants. As far as we know, none of them got out, but we don't know for sure. Well, clearly, they managed to get in without using our front door, so one could imagine they'd do the same when it came to leaving. Sir, we have no plausible explanation as to how these combatants were able to nest themselves in the facility. We're not even sure of their motivations, considering the extent they went to to destroy the facility. Jones, you know damn well it's your job as site security officer to prevent these sorts of things from happening. Yet the resources of the facility at your disposal to find flaws in the facility's design are always been pointed the nest of these operatives. Sir, with all due respect, our funding was tremendously low. We were suffering inventory loss, low ammunition reserves, and understaffing due to your actions as Chief Security Officer. You cannot blame me for executing your orders and policy decisions. If we had more on-site security with more up-to-date weaponry, and maybe even the proper funding, chances are we could have avoided this entirely. You never made it clear that your division was suffering from such traits. Due to your own incompetence, our records never indicated that you need an increase in funding and increase in the number of operatives or otherwise. We're done here. Instead of arguing with you, I'm taking my investigation elsewhere. I expect your resignation at my desk by tomorrow.